um, my name is Bree Greer. I um, am a senior here at Kentucky Wesleyan, so I'm about to graduate. Um, I majored in middle school social studies and K-12 learning behavior disorders. Um, and I just found out that I'm going to be teaching at Cravens Elementary School um, in their special education department starting in the fall, so that's very exciting. Um, so I'm here to share my story with you guys. Um, so I grew up um, fairly religious. My family went to church when I was younger, um, and then due to problems in our church, we stopped going. Um, so there was a period of time in my life where I didn't go a lot. Um, when I reached middle school, um, I met a group of friends who um, encouraged me to start going back to church with them. So that's what my family and I did. We started going on a regular basis. Um, I attended this camp, or not really a camp, it was a um, like a Christian music festival for uh, middle schoolers and high schoolers. Um, it was called New Song. Um, sadly, they're no longer um, open, but I that was my first time um, attending a large group church event. Um, and that's where I found out, or I knew in my heart, that I wanted to accept Jesus. Um, so that was the, a really big moment in my life, um, defining from who I am to who I was then to who I am now. Um it's been a rocky road. No, nothing is ever perfect um, when it comes to um, your life or Jesus or anything like that. But I do believe that Jesus led me in certain paths and put me certain people in my life um, to be there for a specific reason. So I am a transfer student. So I transferred from the University of Southern Indiana. Um, and I didn't have a bad experience there. It just wasn't what I was needing in my life. Um, so I was there for two years, and then I came back to Owensboro. And when I did, there was a job opening at a church to work with children um, on the autism spectrum. So I applied for the job not knowing where that job would lead me or what would happen or where I would go. And um, I had my interview, and I got hired. So what I've been doing for, I think, I think it'll be three years this summer, um, yeah, three years. What I've been doing for three years is um, I'm now the Autism Ministries Director. So I do everything from planning instruction, um, planning church activities, church trips, um, interactions with families. That's what I do every week, um, not just on Sundays. We don't have a Wednesday night um, church service or anything like that, but my job is to make sure that our church is a place for children and their families to come um, and feel comfortable worshiping in that kind of environment because it can be difficult um, with families who do have children with disabilities because, you know, children are children and some churches prefer not to have children in service and that's perfectly fine. Um, but here at Century Christian, we believe that it's really important that the students and their children and families get to worship in an environment that's safe um, and great for them. So our church is not very quiet, um, and that's okay because that's what we believe in our heart that God is wanting us to do each and every day. So my story is not super intricate and like elaborate, um, but I really am so blessed um, to have been put on the path in life that I have been, and I credit all of that to God um, because without Him, I honestly don't know where I would be in my life. Um, he brought me back to Owensboro, which is amazing. Um, when I came back to Owensboro, he brought me my dog, and now I'm engaged and I'm getting married. And he brought me every little thing, and it may not have been in the timing that I wanted, um, but it's in the timing that was perfect for him and perfect for my life. Um, so, yeah, that is my story. Um, thank you so much for letting me share it with you guys. Um, feel free to reach out to me anytime if you have any questions about our church program um, or if you have any questions just about me in general. Um, like I said, I am a senior, so I am graduating as of this coming Saturday, um, but I'm always here, so if you ever want to talk, just let me know. Thank you.